Hey guys, it's me, EOD Gamer here, and in this video, we're going to be talking about the new character, Boot Hill. A lot of us thought it's going to be another character like Sam or something like that, but nope, Hoyovers decided to push that back a little bit. In fact, we are getting Boot Hill uh, in version 2.2, likely going to be second half based on how the order is going to be. One interesting thing, other than of course the fact that we know he's a 5-star, he's a physical hunt character, is that this guy is also a Galaxy Ranger, which is very similar to any one of you who want to pull like a character like Acheron. Um, they are of the same like faction, so to speak. Which means if they are followed in line with the IPC and Topaz Nambi adventuring kind of situations, he might be quite synergetic with Acheron. Uh, so any of you who plan to pull for Acheron might want to watch out for his kid and maybe pay more attention to him to help make your favorite character or character that you are planning to pull for already much stronger. If Akron is in the first half and then we have like a second half and then we have Robin here uh, for 2.1 and 2.2, in that case, we do have a bit more time to at least save uh, two banners just for this character, Boot Hill. Um, but yeah, I want to share with you a few insights that I actually noticed because with the arrival of Robin and Boot Hill, I actually think that there are some insights that can be drawn. And for that, insights is best compared with data. So let me just talk about it here first. But before we dive in, what are my expectations for boot, boot leg or boot heel. I put him here as a boot leg, as a placeholder already. So this is just like my database of how I see characters and their stats versus like this orange bar, which is the average. Um, more interestingly, if we go into the hunt class, that's the first uh, class that we want to compare uh, to see all the characters in the game. So let me just go back here. Let me just uh, remove all of this, clear all filters. And I want to just see, for example, just purely based on hunt characters in the game. In this category here, we see that for hunt characters in general, they have a 125 burst cost requirement on average. Uh, it's on the high side because classes like Abundance, as you can see here, is like 107 burst cost requirement. Uh, and other classes like, let's say for Nihility, is like 119. Preservation is like 117 on average burst cost. There are some classes like Erudition, 130, Harmony, 126, a lot higher. But 125, you can see, is on the high side in general for energy burst cost requirements. And we can expect the same and similar situation for a character like uh, Boot Hill, if any of you are interested in that. Other than that, the stats of hunt characters tend to be very skewed towards speed. The average speed is like somewhere, if you see on the right side here, follow my cursor, and any of you who are like listening in the background, don't worry, I'll just narrate as much as I can out. Average speed in the game is at 102. Every single hunt character in the game is above average speed of all characters in Honkai Star Rail. They generally have some sort of like speed buffing or turn manipulation, except for Dr. Ratio, but he has like follow-up attacks and stuff like that. So he turns, takes turns like outside his order. Other than that, all Hunt characters have something to do with like taking more actions, moving more often, moving faster. Uh, we can expect the same for a character like Boot Hill as well, who is a physical Hunt character. Other than that, they tend to be squishier than average Hunt characters as usual. Um, don't worry about stat efficiency here. If any of you are interested in how we calculate this, there is a skew and you can see like there's a deviation percentage over here. We talked about that in our previous video. If you're interested in more of these statistics kind of information, check out our other videos on the channel. We always do this kind of data-driven content as well to supplement a lot of uh, other thoughts that we have. So that's the first aspect for the Hunt class. The next one, which is going to be fun, is the physical class. We are getting two new characters in the physical element compared to in other patches where we will have it split and stuff. And we only have like really like seven physical previously. How many quantum do we have? Okay, we have like seven quantum and now physical we have like nine. So it's more than quantum at least. Feels like we have a lot of quantum already. But with both Robin and Bootleg coming into the game, it does tell me that physical is going to be uh, slightly more favored in the next 2.2 patches. And it tells me it might be going back to a hunt meta as well because Bootleg is a hunt class. It's the first hunt DPS that they are releasing other than the free um, Doctor Ratio that they gave. So they don't really need to sell Doctor Ratio because he was given for free. But Boot Hill, they probably have to sell him or Bootleg rather. They have to sell him because he's a limited 5-star that people are considering spending money on. So I do think it might should be shifting back to a hunt meta. In that case, for a single target DPS for physical, your options are Su Sang and to some extent Luca. But... um. Bootleg is the first 5-star single target. The other 5-stars are like Argenti, who's purely AoE. Clara, who's like very largely AoE as well. Destruction is like also like half-half, um, but not a very good single target as well. So I think Bootleg fulfills a very good space. No power creeping here, really. Uh, we have to see his overall kick to actually comment more on that. But I like what I see so far. What's more interesting is how does he pair with a character, for example, like Akron. So other than the insights I have of 
physical coming back into the meta. You have Hunt that might be rotating because it started off, Honkai Star Wars started off with like Zealer. Where's my, where's my Zealer? All the way like in the first patch here, uh, Zealer was actually the meta going from my Hunt character. And then they shifted slowly into like an Imbibital Lune, Dunhung Imbibital Lune kind of meta. And then they moved over into Ting Liu and who knows, maybe an Akron meta. So shifting from like Hunt destruction, uh, a bit of um, Eurasian nihility, and maybe back into Hunt. Uh, that we'll see for Boot Hill uh, in, in that sense. It makes sense because he hasn't been around for quite a while, so people probably don't care about Hunt right now as of time of recording, of course. Um, if you like Akron, you might want to check out Boot Hill in terms of how they work together. But last but not least, let's take a look at the voice actor and see what else he does, of course, the English one. And uh, I thought it was going to be a five-star sample, but let me just pull out the, the, the website real quick. I actually thought it was going to be a five-star sample because they look exactly alike, just maybe with a bit more design. But nope, Andrew Russell the, did not voice any character in Honkai Star Row, at least from what I see on IMDb here. He's acted like pretty uh, notable games. Like you have big ones like Diablo 4. You have games like Octopath, Traveler, World of Warcraft. He acted in them. Uh, a lot of other games, Lost Ark, even... I think he was also in Genshin Impact. I, I'm not too sure who this character is. Hasn't been, haven't been playing for a while. Maybe he's a minor role. I don't think he's like any major character, right? Uh, correct me if I'm wrong, guys. But yeah, quite a bit of games that he has participated in. Not Honkai Staro, so it's definitely not Sampo, at least from what I see. Um, definitely quite interesting. And let me know if you guys like, know the Japanese VA, whether it's Sampo. I am not too sure whether it's truly, whether it's a five-star Sampo or not. But I don't think so from what the English VA is kind trying to like suggest. Anyways, guys, uh, we'll do another one for the next four-star tomorrow. Maybe it's Sam. Who knows? Uh, always fingers crossed. And thank you guys so much for watching and see you in the next video.